His physical strength served him well on the court. His mental strength earned him an academic All-American honor in the classroom. Patrick Young leaves a legacy of greatness and will be remembered as one of the most beloved players in Florida basketball history, as we see in this edition of Inside Gator Basketball. Patrick, when we talked at the start of the year, it was about, can you believe your senior year is here? Now that you can see the finish line so close, what are your emotions as your Gator career is winding down a little Slow bit? down. <laughs> Please, slow down. Are you enjoying the ride? Are you, are you making sure that you and Will, and the, are you having fun with it? How can you not have fun with this year that we're having thus far? But, you know, we have our eyes set on the prize in the end, winning that, that national championship, winning the, the SEC championship, SEC tournament, just doing things that we, we've never experienced before. We've experienced everything else almost up to this point, being here for so long in college. But we would love to, to finally, you know, get, get to the Final Four and, and just, you know, relish in that accomplishment. I want to take you back to your rookie year. You come in and you back up Vernon Macklin. You're part of an SEC championship. What do you remember as, about the start of your Gator career? I remember a lot of uh, frustration, honestly, because I was I didn't really get it back then. I mean, of course, you're, you're a freshman. You, you don't, you're not supposed to get it right away. But I remember Vernon Macklin uh, killing me in practice every day and getting dunked on. <laughs> But it was, it was a good time and I really do uh, appreciate those moments back then because it helped sculpt me to who I am today. And I wasn't really that big a factor in that team, but just to be a part of winning so early helped me for the rest of my career. Well, since that first year, you started about 100 games. The role obviously very different from what it was as a freshman. How have you in, uh, embraced being out there, being in that lineup, having to produce night in and night out? Well, it's all about attitude. It's all about mentality coming into each game and remember why you play the game. I love the game of basketball. I love having a team. Having a team. I love being on this team. I love being a Gator and just having the opportunity to come out here for this team and play for a great coach that knows what he's doing is it, just enough for me to, you know, I can play a thousand games with Coach Donovan. My attitude would be the same. I know he's going to put us out there in a situation to win each and every game and, and uh, I can't believe it's, it's going to be over. I just want to look back at it and, and say day in and day out each game that I gave it my best effort. You talk about the attitude and such and your personality is very much on display especially in the O-Dome and you and the crowd seem to have had this great connection from day one. Why is that and how much do you enjoy playing the crowd? I don't know. It's the only way I know how to play the game so I don't know anything different. It's just from day one coming here the fans have been great so I, I, I was just instantly connected to that and I've always played with great passion. So those two things went uh, hand to hand to each other. I think we have the best fans in the country, honestly. And uh, I'm just thankful for the opportunity to be here with a, a great program. And of course, uh, it's worked out well because you have broke the school record for wins in the O'Connell Center. You've, you've set a lot of records. You've won over 100 games on the court accomplishments for you and your teammates. What, which ones really stand out to you? The, the ones that we haven't achieved yet. Okay. We have an opportunity to be the first senior class here to, to win three outright SEC championships in the regular season. We have an opportunity to, to win another national championship. So those, those are our goals that we want to, we don't want to sit here and be like, we've accomplished a 30 game winning streak. We've set the record for home wins and wins in a row for the best start in school history. We're not worried about that. We're worried about the goal at the end is being number one team when it, when it matters the most. As you wind down your year, have you spent any time thinking about what's next and where you might be a year from today? Yes, I, I've thought about it a lot. And I don't know why people still think I'm going to play football. I love basketball. <laughs> I'm playing basketball on the next level. There's no doubt about that. I'm not playing football. And I don't know where I'm going to end up, but I know that my future is in God's hands. I know wherever I end up, I'm going to be in the best, the best place for me. Hopefully it's nice and warm <laughs> to say the least but I just can't wait for for that part of my life to start and and uh, to be hopefully considered a Gator great. When people look back you will be considered a Gator great I promise you that. What do you want fans to say about Patrick Young, a Gator? I would love for fans to say that Patrick Young was a winner that he went out every single night just trying to do whatever he could for his team to win whether it's scoring points or not scoring points, rebounds, effort, that he went out there every night just with the one mindset, and that was winning.
Well, it's been a pleasure to watch you succeed on and off the court. And good luck reaching all those ultimate goals. Thank you so much. Certainly been great to watch Patrick Young, but Billy, I think to be fair, you pushed him, and you pushed him kind of hard throughout his career. We have, Mick, and you know what? I, I really admired what he said early on when he said, you know, I didn't get it. You know, and I think when you come into college and you're McDonald American, you're comp compared to NBA players, it's hard to get it. And I think Patrick is so much more comfortable with who he is as a person, who he is as a player, what he represents and what he stands for. And you can see when he talks, he's articulate, he's intelligent, he's smart, he's learned, he's grown. I think the last four years for him have really benefited for him in the fact that the next step of his life, he's going to be really prepared and ready to, to take down that next challenge.